Hey, you want to get high, man? Let's stimulate your mind. Get up, Chucky! What have we got here? A fucking comedian. Hmm, Rojan Kim? Hello, and welcome to the Rojan Kim cast. It's me, Rojan Kim. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, so a little bit of bad news about the video stream I was trying to put up. I did shoot a video and, um, you know, I edited the sound together. And then when I uh, hit export, it was a uh, 20 hour export guy. <laughs> it's a 20 hour export and I would have, <clears throat> I don't have it. It would have, um, Actually, I guess I don't know if I have it or not. Isn't that? <laughs> we don't know. Anyways, um, by the time the thing would have finished exporting, it would have been after me recording this now. It just is silly. So at the moment, I'm like, I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm going a little too hard. You know, it's you get caught up in the moment. Everybody's buying toilet paper. And everybody's panicking. Everybody wants to start a podcast. You know what I'm saying? And here's the whole thing. I started a podcast that nobody listens to before it was cool, okay? So, uh, <laughs> all right? So, whatever, man. Like, you're just like, oh, I'm sort of podcast. I fuck it. I put, I, I upped my data, so I did that. I am a lemming, okay? I'm following the crowd. I'm, a, I'm jumping on the bandwagon, creating more content. That was, of course, I swear I don't have it. I mean, I don't know, but... Actually, you know, one of the things you'll probably, uh, it'll be interesting. I think I feel like I'm hearing, but maybe I'm just paranoid, is my favorite podcasters. Some of them have little tickles in their throats. Some of them are coughing, you know. Anytime anybody coughs now, we're like, Corona. You know, that's just, <laughs> that is the new reality, guy. So welcome to the Rojan Gibcast in the new reality. We're This is a new, guys, you know. I've been, you know, talking about this for a while. Uh, everybody's been speculating on it. You know, science fiction movies, books, whatever. We've been talking about it. paradigm shift. When do we shift into the 21st century? When do we go from the old ways to the new way? Whatever the new way is. Apparently it's a virus. <clears throat> Who knew what would bring it? It could have been an awakening in humanity. It could have been a Christ achieving of Christ consciousness in all of humanity. Or perhaps one Christ person figure would come and unite us. But no. It was a virus. A virus is coming and uniting us, guys. In some ways, it's, um, well, it's terrifying. But in other ways, it's like, there's something hopeful in that, isn't there? Some, I think in, you know, it's the whole thing about, like, you know, uh, if there were aliens coming, we would unite against the alien threat. Okay? So, well, now the rubber's meeting the road, man. I mean, we're putting the test to a lot of things. A lot of things are being tested. External threat. Will humanity unite? I think we will after... Um, I mean, honestly, after a lot of people die, which seems like is inevitable, but hey, fuck, I don't know, I don't know, I, it's, it's not my fault, it's not my fault, right, you, is it my fault, I'm not eating bats, I'm not the one eating bats, alright, hold on, <laughs> before I start, I want to do a little Corona count, okay, let's do the Corona count for the people, because listen, uh, you know, I got a little bit of OCD in me, Okay, not enough to be a germaphobe, but enough to want to know some things about the numbers and what's going on. And granted, huge caveat, I understand that the numbers, you can't really trust the numbers to reflect reality. All you can really trust is that there's a trend, general trend, right? So that's all I'm interested in. So I've been putting putting up these like numbers on Facebook, uh, numbers I've looked up, numbers other people have looked up. Go to our, our data is beautiful on Reddit if you're really interested in looking at some nice graphs, <laughs> some terrifying graphs. Uh, if you want to look up some scary graphs, go to our, uh, go to the data is beautiful. Um, anyways, uh, I was just like, all right, you know what? I'm not going to fucking keep posting this shit and terrifying people. I'm just going to keep a track for myself. So that's what I did. I've been tracking LA County numbers, the New York City numbers, and the Colorado numbers, because those are just sort of my areas. Uh, that's where the people I care about are. <laughs> that's where the people I care... Man, that's kind of cold. I'm not even tracking Houston, which I think is where my dad is. I actually have no idea if he's there. He might be in Texas. Should I be tracking Texas, too? Am I a bad son for not current tracking, for not reaching out? I, uh, I mean, he's not reaching out to me. We're in a stance. I'm going to talk about my dad now for the next hour. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, it doesn't change anything. He's not reaching out to me. I'm not reaching out to him. All right, fine. Fuck it. He probably believes it's a, a Democratic hoax or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Corona cast, Corona numbers, Corona count. Here we go. LA County, uh, as of uh, this is 318 noon. Uh, and my source is publichealth.lacounty.gov. Okay. Um, that's the LA County Public Health Office. Uh, it's 190. Hooray. 190 cases reported. Um, yesterday was 144. The day before that, it was 94. The day before that, it was 69. So you see, it's uh, more than doubled in the, it took two days to double, essentially. Uh, you can see that happening so from 94 to 190. It's uh, even though the numbers are not accurate. So here's the thing. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's like, see, the numbers aren't indicative. There could be like a million fucking motherfuckers running around. We don't know, but the cases are cases. They're being reported. And the next day, more cases are being reported. So you can see how many cases there are, at least so you can see rate of growth. And the rate of growth, no matter how you juke the stats, is exponential. Even if you fucking just end up lying and saying that there's nobody being sick and nobody being tested, you're not going to be able to ignore the bodies piling up, you know, like the the sheer wave of people crashing into the hospital system, which is something we're going to be seeing this next coming week. You know, in me and my doom saying, it's not just me, man. I'm not some smart ass guy. I'm just a fucking. OK, I'm sorry. I got so did I get high before this? Probably. I don't I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know. It's the new world. OK, guys, Corona cast. Sorry, not Corona cast. Corona count. 190 in LA County. I'm gonna get through this. New York City, as of 318, Wednesday, 923, and New York is on its way to doubling every two days as well. And Colorado, since I just started, it's 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 at 38. Or no, actually, it's not at 38. Denver is at 38. Denver, sorry, I'm not all of Colorado. So the Denver metropolitan area, uh, Denver County, is uh, 38. So I'm going to keep track of that just because that's where Amy's parents are. Um, and so, yeah. So I feel like, you know, some people might be like, hey, are these numbers indicative of the measures we've taken or anything like that? No, we won't know that for two weeks. The reason we're doing that is because we're anticipating the first wave coming, trying to stem that tide. So we'll see. If you really want some good info, god damn it. All right, yeah, I did. I hit the bong. I hit the bong. It's a dry cough. It's not a dry cough. Not a dry cough. I hit the bong all right? <laughs> right before this, I swear. I swear, okay? I mean, I might have it. I don't know. We don't know. That's the whole thing. Um, but here. Um... God damn it. I had to, you know, I have all this stuff I want to talk about. I'm not I'm seven minutes in. I'm fucking babbling like a goddamn idiot. Am I? Am I babbling? I mean listen, all I'm saying is I've been keeping track of the numbers. I know the numbers aren't actually indicative of reality, but they are indicative of growth. And so I figure it's how I'm risk assessing if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like you can see the viral load is going up. I mean, it could be higher than that. You might as well assume it's higher than that. In fact, I've put in estimates. The data nerds I've been looking at are estimating that for uh, every amount of reported cases, there's probably anywhere from like, you know, I saw 27 times and I saw up to 50 times. So I just took the high end to be safe. I'm figuring, let's say at the worst case, 50 times the amount of people are infected as there are you know, reported. So that gives me just an idea of like, okay, you know, should I be going out now? So I figure that's a way of keeping track of like, this is, you know, right now it's probably the opportune time to stock up on some stuff. You know, when I, later on, inevitably, we will have to go out, you know? So that's when some risk assessment may occur. I advise everyone to just see what Asia has been doing, you know, just the things they do. It's gonna, we're gonna be masking and gloving, guys. That's par part of the paradigm shift masking and gloving another part of the paradigm shift i think which i would think i'm uh i've kind of thrown in uh my hat into the ring in being a big advocate for this is to just stop eating bats guys can you just stop stop with the bats stop the bats it's just the bats the bats are bad see the bats have the sars virus this is Actually, SARS-2, guys. Uh, yeah, COVID-19. It's actually the real name is like SARS-2, COVID, whatever. Okay, like it's fucking SARS-2. And this is one of the rare times where the sequel is better than the original. You know what I'm saying? But it is. Okay, it's better 
not for us, but for the virus. You know, like, like I mean, it sucks for us. It's worse for us. But in the sense, uh, if you were a virus, you'd be like, this is better, um, SARS-2. And the thing is, the bats have the SARS, guys. Bats have the SARS. It's been written about. This paper, I found this paper online. It's, uh, hmm, let me see if I can, uh, okay. The title of the paper is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus as an Agent of Emerging and Reemerging Infection. I found the PDF of it online. You can just Google Clinical Microbiology Reviews, October 2007, page 660. Okay, that's where it starts. It's a um, 34-page report. Some good reading, huh? Yeah. But I'm just saying, I'm not like just making this shit up or joking because there's that video of that chick eating bats and shit and the bats and people were like, oh, are you being racist? Are you stop being racist. People, okay. Actually, I'm kind of posting jokes about it because it's, you know, I'm just making jokes, okay? Making jokes about it, even though I'm serious, but making jokes. And then people are responding being like, well, I, st- I thought those were all doctored. And I thought, and it's like, no, man, I know... It's a lot of white people. A lot of white people kind of trying to uh, defend Chinese for some reason. Don't defend them, man. They don't need. They are. They're eating bats. Okay, <laughs> and uh, let's just be clear. Not Chinese. I'm not saying I'm not. Chi- I mean, I'm not. But I'm not. They, as in, not just the Chinese. Okay, there's other people eating bats. I'm sure. Whoever's eating bats all around the world, you goddamn bat eaters. Just stop it. So it's not a racial thing. This is a bat eating thing. You know what I mean? This is about the choices you're making, the foods you're eating, the bat butchering. It's the butchering of the bats. You see that exposes the people to the virus in them. Now. Someone else decided to jump in and be all smarty pants and be like, it wasn't bats, it was the pangolin. Okay, it was the pang. Okay, 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 listen, listen. SARS-1 was from the bat to the civet, civet cat, whatever, civet to humans, okay? This time they're thinking it was bat from pangolin to humans. If the fucking bat wasn't there, we probably wouldn't have gotten a pangolin disease. You understand? Or if you did get a pangolin disease, it wouldn't have been this coronavirus SARS-2 you know, you know what I mean? Because we already had SARS-1. Having SARS-1 with the bats to the civets should have told them, dude, get, get rid of the bats. At least if you get rid of the bats, you might have stopped the, the jumping of the virus from the bat to the pangolin. So don't fucking, what are you, nickeling, looking, nickeling, diming me over which animal it was? All right, anyways, there's too many people are online. There's a lot of people online, including myself. We've got a lot of time on our hands right now, okay? It's the fucking bats, Okay. <laughs> So I got this paper, right? I would read the rest of it, but this is a part that I saw online that led me to the paper. By the way, all the scientists, this is from the State Key Laboratory of Emerging Infectious Diseases, Department of Microbiology Research Center of Infection Immunology, University of Hong Kong, Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, China. China, okay? So I know everybody's like, don't call it a Chinese virus. Don't call it a Chinese virus because it's racist. Listen, I get it. I understand. I get it. I know why. I get it. Why it's wrong. I'm an Asian American. I understand. You know, I've been. People think I'm Chinese. I get it. I get it. I get. You know, people be racist toward Asians. I don't want that. I don't want that. So I get it. Okay. I understand the other side of China is inaccurate. Okay. Great. I get it. So let's avoid this whole thing. Instead of calling it a Chinese virus, how about we call it the Stop Eating Bats virus? Huh? Stop eating bats. Huh? That's like my big message. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Stop. Listen. Listen to this part. Listen to this part. <clears throat> the presence of a large reservoir of SARS-CoV-like viruses in horseshoe bats together with the culture of eating exotic mammals in southern China is a time bomb. There you go. That was written in 2007. So, um, you know, just stop it. They fucking knew about it. These are not. This is not racist. These are these are Chinese scientists talking about a Chinese custom. They're actually in southern China. They're well aware of the fact that motherfuckers are eating bats. It's a fucking. They do it, okay. And they're saying we got to stop this shit because the fucking SARS, COVID, coronavirus. Come on, look at where we are now. I guarantee you, there's still some jerk out there scarfing down a fucking bat and just being like. <laughs> worth it <laughs> someone just fucking eating the fucking bat and being like was this on fucking man shane's secret podcast i mean honestly 
Shout out to them, okay? Shout out to Shane Gills, Matt uh, McCusker, because they were the ones who were talking about munching bats, okay? They say munching bats. Shit is hilarious. I know people are going to accuse them of being racist, but it's literally they are eating bats, okay? I'm trying not to say munching bats. Maybe it should catch on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to rip him off. I don't want to be like, oh, Asian guy is ripping off Shane Gillis and is trying to be Shane Garris, you know, or whatever. You know, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that. But I am actually being serious about the eating of bats. So I will even just not even make it like a funny thing, like scarfing bats, eating bats, you know, wolfing bats. Like I'll just, I straight up stop eating bats. Maybe I should just call this, this should be just called stop eating bats. I think I've, sometimes I think my problem is I try to ram too much in. Uh, that's what she said. Okay. Uh, tr- ram too much into like a, co- a podcast or a set. It's just, my mind is going uh, real fast and I'm trying to ram all this. Sh- blah, and you know, maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too much. So I'm going to try to stick to the bat sub- <laughs> subject at hand, which is bats. Stop eating them. All right. I mean, honestly, they must be kind of delicious. Right? Do you think that <laughs> how I mean how good must they be? Did Shane and Matt already talk about this? God damn it. Maybe this is why I gotta stop listening to other people's podcasts, because I don't know if it, but this is the thoughts that are coming up. Stop eating the bats. All right. Um makes me want to run up on Facebook and just correct everyone. All right, okay. All right. I don't have it, I swear. I don't know. Um, all right. Well, I think uh, overall, okay, yes, the bats are the problem. The wet markets are a problem. Honestly, it's really people and the way we eat meat, industrialized meat or mass scale meat seems to be the issue because wet markets aren't industrialized. That's just a massive scale. But I suppose industrialization is how you can deliver a civet cat from Indonesia all the way to Wuhan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're shipping in these fucking animals, man, so that they can munch on them. And I guess it must be fucking good. It must be delicious. It must be delicious. But it's a very Roman kind of thing. You know, have you ever looked at a Roman... Uh, menu from long ago it's just like hummingbird tongues and fucking pickled fucking gallbladders of frogs it's just very obscure animals of all kinds just because they could and i think that that's something that happens when you have giant civilizations like and ancient ones honestly giant ancient civilizations that live you know by the wilderness and whatnot you know because wuhan is like a city of uh, 10 million the whole Hubei province province Hubei province Hubei province is like 16 million 60 million it's huge it's huge tons of people tons of fucking people so i also understand it's not feasible to just get them to stop you're not they're not gonna just stop eating bats because bats is a fucking delicious food source for these people so we gotta figure i don't know that's when it's helpful to have something like a central Chinese party, right? Like the CCP, to just a dictatorial, authoritarian, totalitarian state to just come in and be like, stop eating bats. However, uh, that paper was from 2007, and they still haven't stopped it 13 years later. 13 years later, still eating bats. All right. But listen, swine flu came from pigs, okay? From Mexico, from the United States, came from pig agriculture. Hey, we have uh, a bird flu came from chickens and shit. You know, so it's not just bats, even though bats is pretty high. Ebola, even. I don't, I don't even know if Ebola is from un- eating bats. Ebola might have just been from, I don't know, it's probably from eating bats. You know, it's fucking in, in the Ebola River, right in the Congo or the Niger Delta. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in Africa. There's the River Ebola, and out of the re- River Ebola, somehow a bat gave Ebola to a person and that's there's fucking bats man it's, I'm just saying bats are scarier than vampires do you understand vampires they suck your blood but they don't create global pandemics do you see this pandemic do you see how bad this is this is bad this is bad hmm I don't know if I've uh, gotten across how much I feel that I, I feel like I'm preaching the choir I feel like most of you out there aren't eating bats uh, also that just goes to show how low my listenership is <laughs> like if i had if i had 100 people listening okay i could say like one person might be a bat eater but it's still hovering around that 12 12 number 12 unlike coronaviruses the coronavirus my numbers are not growing exponentially you know what i'm saying there's a the curve is flat baby that's just you know you know what i mean hey hey i'm gonna be here probably for six months i don't know <laughs> i don't know guys I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I'm I'm thinking of buying precious metals. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is at this moment. I'm just, 
gonna pod. I'm just gonna keep on podcasting until they knock the doors down and the Chinese government stops me because I'm telling everybody to stop eating bats and they say that it's racist and I'm a self-hating Asian. Okay. Um, overall, it, uh, it the meat industrialized meat. Okay, it's a, I think there's gonna be a big old paradigm shift in just how we get our food, make our food, deliver our food, just supply chain stuff, not just bad eating, you know what I mean? But like or wet markets or fucking pigs and chickens, or whatever. I mean, this is why I want to hunt. You know what I mean? Like I, I think that's gonna change. You know, fundamentally, shit is gonna change. Globalism might be over, man. It might be, you know, a lot of people are saying the rise of nationalism. This is gonna just accelerate the rise of nationalism that's been rising before this the idea of having strong borders the idea of fucking screening people in, you know in your country the idea of a strong state like you know instead of a globalized open border sort of free trade thing you know it's it's fucking it's gonna could be the pretext to interesting conflict economic biological you know military we don't know man isn't it wild that we're still at, in seven wars isn't it <laughs> <laughs> is that crazy? Is it America awesome? All right. Uh, fucking, I don't know. What do we do? We got to do something, guys. I mean, maybe if we, here's what I think. Here's what I advocate. Maybe if we start eating pandas and making videos of it, then China would ban wet markets. You know what I mean? If we just started butchering, <laughs> just started butchering pandas, stacking up panda bodies, just butchering them, just eating chow and down, fucking having barbecue panda, just barbecue style, just fucking dry rub or Louisiana style, smother it in sauce. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking hot wing style, just fucking the last dab of panda. You know what I'm saying? Like just have a fucking pandathon and slaughter these pandas fucking wear their heads on her face and be like, oh, look at me, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a panda and I'm delicious. You know, maybe the Chinese government would be like, all right, we got to we gotta do something about this, these wet markets. We got to do something about these wet markets and then they'll use their influence of our media and Hollywood to uh, just stop wet markets altogether and I think that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Have you considered that... Um, the vehement defense against China about co- not calling this a Chinese virus as much as there is an Asian American component to it, uh, that it could possibly also be uh, Chinese disinformation. You know what I'm saying? You know, that the Chinese, the Chinese are like, don't look at us. We didn't do it. And stop saying it's racist if you say, you know, and the thing is, well, okay, let's just take out the word. Can we call it Wuhan? Okay, don't even associate it with Asian uh, bat bat eating bat eating. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, you know I don't want people to be attacked. I don't want hatred, you know, to get them. I don't want people to be hate crimed, but I also don't want uh, millions of people to die. You know, and we have to decide which is worse at this. What's worse, being called names and possibly being hit assault or millions of people like your own grandparents dying your grandparents dying and you being on the other side of glass and then you having to okay i'm sorry (laughs) see that's what i'm saying it's a bleak thing trying to do it all right time to wrap up okay time to wrap it up i swear i don't have it i mean i don't know but anyways thank you for listening to the roger kim cast thank you so much uh, follow me. Uh, hey, I'm burning off a lot of jokes, trying to tell jokes, trying to keep it funny, trying to scare the shit out of people. I think I've done my part. I'm going to chill, you know, on the scare. I didn't post any scary graphs today. Okay. I had some, I had them ready. I had a lot of scary graphs, ready, but I chilled. Okay. I'm going to chill on that. I feel like people have gotten the point. Okay. We're about to get fucking Trump checks. You know what I'm saying? about to get Trump checks and the rubber's going to meet the road. You think he's a Nazi? You're going to take that Nazi money? You're going to take it or you're going to fucking throw it away? Let's see what you're going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably buy like a stack of silver. <laughs> I might convince Ravy to let me buy a gun. Okay, so this is, uh, this is uh, no, I'm kidding. I don't think I'm, I don't think it's time to arm myself. I'm just gonna get a little silver just in case, just in case silver. That's all. I just in case. Honestly, the t- it's the time now to buy goods, tangible goods. Over that, more so than you know, hoarding dollars. If we all get dollars, those dollars will become worthless. You know what I'm saying? Not worthless. That's a potential, but I just mean it's gonna inflate things anyways. Prices are gonna go up. So might as well fucking exchange them for goods. And uh, yeah, that's just my little tip. Don't listen to me. I know nothing about finance. I have a hundred dollars to my name. <laughs>
<laughs> I just think it's hilarious that the like, gang gang is all happening. Right is going to the left of the left, and the left is just like, hey, what about tax credits? You know what I'm saying? And Trump's like, thousand dollars to everybody. <laughs> it's like stealing a Chinese guy's idea. That's I think it's completely hilarious. Um, anyways, thank you for listening. Next time I want to talk more. I'm going to talk more about it. I'm sorry, guys, but there's a lot to talk about. But I want to try to do it in an informative in an informative and humorous way. And I hope that you can join me. And thank you so much for listening to me in this time. It's crazy, 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 crazy as time.